nice to jump and fight right. Oh, oh! He told me to keep left over crest. I took him a little bit too literally there. Hello and welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to part two of my uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 career playthrough. Now um, I read your comments that you uh, sent down on the last video and yes it was very long. Um, I did actually manage to cut that down to half an hour from um, over an hour's worth of footage um, just playing through that first section. Now I'm going to try and um, cut this one down even further so there's going to be quite a lot of cutting in the events themselves. Um, but just to try and keep it a little bit shorter and obviously more interesting for yourselves as well. Um, we're going to try and pick up exactly where we left off last time. So I'm going to go straight into the career. I've had a real problem trying to actually get on here today to um, do this. Uh, there's actually been a problem with Racenet, which is um, the Codemasters sort of online aspect of the game, which they use for all their different racing um, games that they do. Um, and it appears that, yeah, basically they've made a bit of a mistake really by making this fully online uh, just for a single player campaign. So unfortunately, if their servers go down, um, you can't play at all, which is a real shame. Uh, but we're back up and running now, or we seem to be for now. So uh, we'll see how we get on with it. There we go. So the engine tuning's already been automatically done by the looks of things. So it's taken it to level four. Uh, repairs wise, we'll just do what the um, recommended is and confirm that it's not costing us anything anyway. Yeah, so the car's tuned up, so let's go. So as I said on the previous video, you're going to have to bear with me on these live commentaries because it's not something that I've really done before. Um, so if, <laughs> if uh, I'm not doing too well, just let me know. But uh, obviously it's something that I'm going to learn as I go. Uh, certainly something I need to spend a bit of time doing certainly if I'm going to be streaming in the future uh, I've always been a little bit in awe of people uh, who can just sit there and chat for hours it's not something that comes very naturally to me certainly not with anyone else to talk to um, with this now obviously on this event it looks like it's going to be raining um, do I get a choice for a wet weather tyre it doesn't look like it um, Yeah, no, there's no wet weather tyre option there, so I'm just going to have to leave it as it is, uh, which is going to be a bit interesting. I have been um, playing around with the uh, classic rally side of things as well while I couldn't get onto the main career, and uh, it made a huge difference not having wet weather tyres on there, so I'm not sure why I'm not being given the option. Uh, whether I just I had the choice to get them in the first place and I missed it, I'm not sure. I'm still learning here, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's jump straight into this. Starts 30, 6 right of a crest long, tightens 4, into 5 left, into cut, 5 right opens long. Good luck. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Right, so we're off again. Um, obviously, <laughs> visibility is going to be low. We've got heavy rain coming down and it's night time. I'm just going to take it a little bit easy to start with, get a feel for the car. Um, this is the first time I've driven in New England and certainly in these conditions as well. It's not going to be easy just as I get a feel for it all. Um, I did have a look because uh, I wasn't sure in the first video whether uh, or what the difficulty setting was set to because it did seem quite easy. Um, it is set to the standard um, that the game sort of comes with, which is 70%, which is classed as medium. Oh, straight off there. Um, that's not a great start. And um, yeah, they, they class it as medium, 70%. Uh, I'll have to see how I get on with it. I'm not entirely sure whether upping it is a great idea at this stage. Obviously, I'm only with the slower cars, so... Hopefully, if we can make it through this part of the game, we'll see how we get on with the uh, the faster stuff and the rear-wheel drive bits. But um, yeah, for now, we'll leave it as it is and see how we get on. Yeah, the visibility is really bad. Um, I don't know whether you can pick that up on the video and how difficult it is, but you've got the rain really coming down at you. And with the dark, dark as well, it's definitely not helping. Opens six long. One hundred and fifty. 
very slippery on this mud as well. Oh, so I'm not sure whether you actually get a choice for wet weather tyres. I'm not sure why there's no wet option for the tyres. Uh, maybe someone who knows a bit better than me could let me know down in the comments section. At least with the time side of things, it looks like it's not just me that's struggling with this. The competition are all uh, struggling with the um, visibility as well. It would be nice to get a, uh, a nice big lead after this first event, but we'll have to see how we get on with it. Um, when I was playing through the historic rally, I was uh, it was on the same difficulty setting, and I have to say, first round really easy. Uh, the second round was incredibly difficult I think I came out um, overall 16th in that so yeah I'm, I'm guessing this is going to ramp up the difficulty at some point and whether going back to what I said in the last video they've just made it sort of more accessible for people um, to start the game which which like I said wasn't a bad thing anyway um, we will we'll find out I guess as, as we get further into this career mode Come on little Lance here, I have to say this thing does feel very underpowered but at the same time I'm not sure I'd want to be going any faster right now in, in these conditions. Oh, that was the wrong time to put the brake on. All that time we've just lost. As always, these games, the physics are so good. Like there, where you you throw all the weight onto the front wheels and then you go into the water, it just spins you round, as it should do, as it would in real life. Um, they really know what they're doing when it comes to the uh, physics side of the game. And like I say, visuals wise, I can't get over what a jump it is um, from the last Dirt Rally. And yeah, Dirt Rally 4 even just looks terrible compared to this. Very slippery. That should be enough for a stage win. Well, I'll take that considering, uh, well, it's a little bit disappointing considering how far ahead we were, but even so, to come out with a, um, a round win there, we'll take that. Starts by right long, opens over crest 50, good luck. Well, weather definitely looks a little bit better this time. Five, four, and we're off again. Nice short stage as well, this one. So um, we'll try and go for maximum points here. Oh, handbrake didn't do much there, just sort of <laughs> slid the car forward. I need to throw the weight around a little bit more next time, I think. Oh, these ruts in the road really make a big difference. It's, um, it's just another aspect of, like I say, these physics that they're just so good with. Um, and the fact that you know something like that can play such a big part in the way it drives um, it's just it's just new it's not something you see a lot of I remember um, going back a long time now to when I first got my PlayStation 3 and I picked up Sega Rally it was the same time actually the first Dirt Rally came out um, and they had again in that as you went around the tracks the surface actually deformed um, and became harder to drive on 
This isn't quite as extreme as that, obviously that being an arcade style game, they kind of went all out with it uh, and it came, became a little bit silly as you're going round, but it's really nice to see this in a sim racing um, capacity and oh, there we go, straight into the side, that's me chatting too much and not concentrating. But yeah, it's nice to see it in a sim racer and hopefully um, this is something we're going to see more of um, and you know, hopefully it will just improve over time. Opens through narrow gate. 30, turn one left. Opens through narrow gate. Nice corner there. Oh! 120. Wrong way. Cut six left of a dip. Just about to say we had a nice corner and I was making up loads of time and then we lose it all. Crest and jump and five right. Oh, six oh! Left. Don't cut. He told me to keep left over crest. I took him a little bit too literally there. Crest and jump and five right. Eight second penalty. It's going to hurt. Six that is going to hurt us. We only had, I don't even know what I had at the end of the last one, but it wasn't Keep much crest, more jump. or less than that anyway. And I was already behind before I did that. Four left long. Opens. Into six right. To stop. Oh, clawed back some seconds at the end there, but still 21 seconds off the pace. That's going to hurt. That's definitely going to hurt. That felt good, but let's check the times. I don't know how that felt good considering we were upside down at one point, but hey. So 14th overall there, which brings us yeah to third place, and we're quite a long way off the leader there. There's 20, yeah, just over 20 seconds in it. So work to be done. So let's get some major repairs done. Um, yeah, a fair amount of repairs here. Damage the radiator there. Body work was obviously a big one, uh, having rolled the car. Um, but yeah, let's get these done and let's jump straight into the next round. Six left. Opens of a crest. Into six right long of a crest. Into six left. And six right long. Opens of a crest. 50. Four left. Into don't cut. Three right long of a crest. Keep right of a 40. Three left. Into two right. Very long. Pass junction. Opens 30. Very slippery again. I just. Um, three before this stage, 30. Jesus, just before this stage I um, did change my tyres again, it's something that's so important um, and it, it doesn't sort of encourage you to do it, you just have to check yourself, if you forget to do it, it can absolutely ruin your next stage, but yeah, still no option of a wet weather tyre, so uh, I'm guessing you just don't get that choice at this point in the game for some reason. Overdid the handbrake there. Going to have dropped some time. Sudden turn two right, 80. Turn one right long of a double junction. Opens into six left long. Titans turn heavy left. Opens front of a crest long thirty. Very technical little bit of course that. Six left and turn four right. Forty. Six right of a crest. Slow fifty. Turn very tight air in left. What there? Have I gone past it? No. Thirty. <laughs> Lost loads of time. Oh no, handbrake just couldn't turn the car there. That was terrible. Four left long, Titans. 200. Flat left of 
Summercrest at Pass Junction, 200. Slow, turn unseen, one lot. Oh, it gives you a fair old warning for that corner. Opens a crest into six left, fifty, and three right Titans. Into four left of a crest, opens thirty, five right Titans. Into four left. Opens of a crest, 100. Keep middle of a crest jump, 50. Six right long. It just six left, extra long. Titans three. Opens. Into four right. Titans of a bridge long. Titans three. Keep right of an eighty. To keep middle of a long crest and jump. Eighty. Keep left of a jump into four right long. Opens of a crest. Slow thirty. Turn tight air in left. Eighty. Keep left of a crest. Thirty. Six right long. And keep left of a crest. Fifty. Four left of a crest. Very long. Opens. One hundred and fifty. Six right. Eighty. Turn unseen to right. Opens 150. My left of a crest, 30. My right long, opens of a finish. Into six left long. To stop. Well, sorry there wasn't much talking there, but what a stage that was. That was great. I think we've made back all of our time. Really well in there. Could be a stage win. Yeah, that is a solid win. Oh, only 14 seconds actually ahead. But yeah, that puts us... Oh, it couldn't be closer. 0.1 of a second between us. But yeah, that's what we needed. All right, let's carry on to the next event. Five, four, right, so another night stage here. Two, one, go. 50, this is where this could all go rest. wrong. I think I'm just gonna have to play it safe. I don't want any silly mistakes. Otherwise, we could throw away that lead. I mean, there's just not much to it anyway. Into cut three right long opens six of a crest thirty. Hopefully, the AI are taking it easy as well because of the um, fact that it's at night. Caution thirty turn four right through very narrow gate. Oh, a bit heavy on the brakes there. And flat six right long, one hundred and thirty. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a single hairpin right with this car for some reason. Keep middle of a crest into six right of a finish, one hundred to stop.
another nice stage that. A couple of very scary moments. Oh, he still wants me to move. There we go. Champions, we deserve it. Yeah, it was a good solid stage that. No one was even close to us. Um, it looked like it was going to be really tough for a lot of it as well, which kind of pushed me forward um, and to sort of take a few more risks, but it obviously paid off. Could have gone either way though. So that's a victory in New England and uh, another 58 grand as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave this episode here and um, continue it in the next one. Uh, we've got Australia next. Now it's up to you guys and I'll let you decide down in the comment section. Do you want me to just complete this with the Lancia and then move on to a different car before the next episode? Uh, rather than doing six episodes all with this one vehicle. But it is completely up to you guys, but just let me know. Um, use that comment section and yeah, just tell me what you think. Um, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be obviously continuing uh, this series of videos along with many other GT Sport stuff that I tend to post onto the channel too. And I'll see you all in the next one.